This is Sivakumar, 12th Standard Business Mathematics and Statistics, Chapter Number 2, Continuation of Exercise 2.11. Now, Problem Number 3. Evaluate as the limit of the sum, integral 1 to 3, 2x plus 3 into dx. Here, f of x equals 2x plus 3. A is the lower limit, 1 and b is the upper limit 3 then you have to find h h that is equal to b minus a by n b that is equal to 3 minus a that is equal to 1 divided by n equals 2 by n then you have to find f of a plus or h equals f of a value 1 and h value 2 by n a value 1 or into h value 2 by n equals f of 1 plus 2 into r 2 or by n equals what is f of x f of x equals 2x plus 3 so replace x by 1 plus 2 or by n so 2x plus 3 what is x 1 plus 2 or by n equals 2 ones are 2 then multiply these two 2 into 2 4 or by n plus 3 equals add together 5 plus 4 or by n then write the formula integral a to b f of x dx that is equal to limit n tends to infinity h tends to 0 sigma or equals 1 to n h into f of a plus or into h therefore question is integral 1 to 3 2x plus 3 into dx 1 to 3 2x plus 3 into dx equals limit n tends to infinity only you no need to write h tends to 0 sigma or equals 1 to n h can be replaced by what is value of h h that is equal to 2 by n so since h in terms of n you no need to write h tends to 0 in the second line then f of a plus or into h here it is what is the value 5 plus 4 or by n equals limit n tends to infinity sigma or equals 1 to n multiply 2 5 so 10 10 by n plus 2 4 so 8 or by n squared 8 or by n squared equals limit n tends to infinity can be separated as 10 by n just you have to write 1 by n outside the summation sigma or equals 1 to n 10 is inside the summation plus here 8 by n squared is outside the summation sigma or equals 1 to n or is inside the summation so 10 into 1 by n 10 by n 8 into or 8 or by n square same only we know that sigma or equals 1 to n a that is equal to a n here a refers a constant here what is the value of a 10 so limit n tends to infinity right to 1 by n as it is according to this result a value is 10 so therefore you have to write 10 n what's the value 10 n plus 8 by n squared you know the result for sigma or equals 1 to n or you can directly write n into n plus 1 by 2 okay 1 n get cancelled n n get cancelled so limit n tends to infinity 1 into 10 10 2 table 
4 times write 4 into n plus 1 by n n plus 1 by n that is equal to limit n tends to infinity 10 plus 4 into can be separated as n by n plus 1 by n n by n plus 1 by n n n get cancelled equals limit n tends to infinity 10 plus 4 into 1 plus 1 by n now we can replace n by infinity 10 plus 4 into 1 plus 1 by n as infinity that is equal to 10 plus 4 into 1 plus 1 by infinity value is 0 that is equal to 10 plus 4 into 1 plus 0 that is equal to 1 equals 10 plus 4 that is equal to 14 can verify verification the given question is integral 1 to 3 2x plus 3 into dx that is equal to 2 right as it is x power 1 integration is x power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 3 dx 3 constant integral dx is x here which formula we have applied here i write the formula over here you know that integral x power n dx that is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 remember so that is equal to 2 into x squared by 2 plus 3x limit 1 to 3 2 to get cancelled now you can apply the upper limit upper limit is 3 3 squared is 9 3 3 is or 9 upper limit is over minus can apply the lower limit what is the lower limit 1 1 squared is 1 3 ones are 3 9 plus 9 is 18 3 plus 1 is 4 18 minus 4 that is equal to 14 here also same 14 so problem number 3 is over so only one problem is left that is problem number 4 i'll be teaching in the next video thank you children